Previously. No crap. Ugh. Okay, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Soon. So probably we'll have some beast we'll have to run from or hide from or whatever at some point once we do enough stuff with the clocks. Um, not your home. I don't... Yeah, I know this is not my home. I don't know what you're trying to tell me. I came from home to this room. Why would I think all of this stuff is my home? It's, I don't know why this note is here, but whatever, it's fine. Um, okay, so we've saved it here. Yeah, so if we look out... And because I, we've already, already talked about this before, uh, when I streamed before, so if I repeat myself, I apologize for anybody, but because there are people on stream and I don't know if they've seen or not. So these have colors blue the one i think ac directly across from this is red and so these will take these keys that we have the blue the, the azure and the crimson keys but we're not going to use them yet because i don't think this is going to do anything until we get all four keys there's not really a point in spending time with that this might be useful so we had to when we had gone down 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 way below there was a lever we needed to pull but something was jamming the lever that was a clock needle there are clocks we found on the level up here that um whoops do not work currently they are missing well one or more needles so things changed does that mean this is any of the either of these are working or are they still broken no nope, still broken still broken yeah this we already have read i believe this is which one sacred paintings we draw in sinners with sinners oil serves the pathway to the holy mind of god for his sleeping cautious the father of many sibling worlds which we can divine alter and enter through paint each color pigment shade represents and controls the frequency of his divine light most excellent primer for manifesting is black this color is the void before and beyond life. It is death, the canvas of creation, a holy color, and we must seek permission from God to use it to create. When they say from God, they are this apparently fallen angel creature, which may have been something we met already in the game. But anyway, there's this fallen angel creature that they refer to as their gods. This is a cult, and their god is this angel something or other. A fallen angel, I guess, based on stuff we've read. Okay, so then, and then, yeah, so we've already read all these, and these talk about. Oh, yeah, there you see right there. My feelings, sex, and colors make me weak? Maybe I am. No, you're not. Anyway, let's, let me go back to this one more time, just because I forgot that there's the thing. I'll show you right here. Third line from the bottom on the left side, okay, says the only value is your worth to God strike through our angel so again that's kind of the the identifier that you know if nothing else that little bit right there shows that they worship like some kind of a fallen angel as if it were a deity yeah these are the stairs that go down oh there's a clock there i don't know if all the clocks are going to be missing handles some only some of them i'm not sure how this works let's check this clock here and see yeah, it has, a, it has a hand on it. Another clock. This one has Zodiac instead of numbers. Used to be into that stuff, but me, Scorpio, no wonder I've lost faith in it. Can't get the window open. It's shut tight. And I don't have something to pry that open. Oh, but this one uses Zodiacs. I don't remember if the other... Are the other clocks different? So I feel like at least one of the clocks was normal except that it was missing a hand right or is that not true yeah it's a clock there are roman numerals on the face tasteful can't get the window open and shut tight yeah there is a clock somewhere though oh this might be because this is a door we need to use use the clock needle it's now unlocked ah we opened the door okay and uh oh the other clocks 
opened. I don't know if I like this, though. This might be very bad. All of the other clocks opened. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not been in here before. Not sure I'm a big fan of all the clocks opening suddenly in response. But okay. I like the music suddenly kicking in. That's cool. It's very Silent Hill, right? There were certain places where you did something, you then entered a new area, and then music kind of ramped up in Silent Hill fashion. That was cool. All right. Um, dancing around the circle of time, the beast awaits deathly chime. With key in hand and blood in sight, it opens mouth to swallow light. So the beast is something with darkness, I guess. They didn't talk about what we just had reread, right? Which is that the holy color is black. And Jennifer's notes talk about how her light will be what brings her back, that brings Abigail back to her. Not that, that Abigail should not stay in the dark more than she needs to to hide or save her life or something. So interestingly. So it definitely feels like Jennifer is probably somebody we can still trust because she's telling Abigail to avoid the darkness and the darkness seems to be the thing that these cult members really get off on. Like they love darkness, apparently. Probably in blood also because they talked about blood being an important color too. And we see blood, of course, all over. Okay. Um, anyway, so the beast awaits a deathly chime clock so probably we'll have some beast we'll have to run from or hide from or whatever at some point once we do enough stuff with the clocks okay he has a key in his hand it sounds like so crap that might mean one of the one of the two remaining keys are something we have to get from the beast. That's what that sounds like to me. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. First is the proud king, monarch of beasts. Second is the doppelganger within the womb. Third is the bowman with deadly intent. Fourth is the killer that hides within man. Fifth is the horn of an innocent, an, an innocent demon. Sixth is the Maiden, eternal and forever. Interesting that only second and fourth are in red text. The others are all in blue, are both in blue. In fact, looks like we're getting more of that, judging by the page that's in the background. Seventh is the Chaser of all things red. Eighth is the Pawn under darkened tide. Ninth is the Judgment, the weight of a soul. Tenth is the incubus, born of a witch. Eleventh is the flowing of earth's lament. Twelfth is the coming of the desert lord. The day the beast has fed, and all four stars are dead, the key is yours to keep. All four stars are dead. Do we know stars yet? I don't, I feel like we don't. A beast devouring four stars? This, we cannot go across. Okay. I wasn't sure if there's a little ledge to walk on there, but it looks like no. The answer is there is not. Okay, and there's the end there. Okay, so I cannot cross over to this right now. And there's a big chasm here as well. That's one nice thing in this game is unless you, the intent is that you can jump down something like we just did earlier tonight where we jumped in a hole, okay? But except when that's something you have to do, you the game won't let will not let you fall off a ledge. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about a whoops a daisy and now I'm screwed or 
doesn't look like I can control it from here. Oh, I see. This is a large clock that we control through the other clock. Yeah. Remember the clock at the top of those stairs that go down and down and down and down? Remember that clock had signs of the zodiac? So we have these. So those are gonna be controlled by that clock, presumably. This one will be controlled by the one near where we met that old man that has Roman numerals. And then I don't know this last one. Looks like it's moon. Yeah, and sun. Sun there and moon on the other side. Interesting. Okay. I'm trying to think. Okay, well, I think... Well, first of all, I don't know what time we need. I might have to review some notes and see. I don't know what time we need to set the clocks to. And then I would have to interpret that time, translating it over to the equivalent zodiac for that clock. And then we have a third clock we don't I don't know about either. So we still got quite a bit of stuff to do. Be refreshing to see a cult that worships deity, a deity that doesn't try to have you as a pretzel, or at least communicate with a way one can understand. Ah, yeah, it would be cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um. Do I have anything that's going to tell me? Nothing about time on that. Here's the book on astrology. What is this again? I mean, it shows the the symbols. Is that all it shows? Yeah. There is, I will note, that if you consider this a clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, then you can find the signs of the zodiac based on you know as if they were a clock or something right so okay oh what's that on the right what does this say time of course plays a primary role for the for this matter, one should rely on the highlighted, gosh dang it, highlighted information only when confronted with references to such signs. Anything else is a waste of time. Yeah. All right. Book on ritual killings. I don't think this one had anything about time. One of the corpses, this is like how the how the killings happen. They don't really talk about their failed king or kings or failed candidates for kingship. But these again aren't referencing a specific time of day or anything. Seasons keys. I believe those well, first of all, those are the keys that we've been acquiring, the Crimson Key and now the Azure Key. And they also are talking about seasons, not time of day. So I don't think this is something either we're going to use. Check it just to make sure, but I don't think so. Autumn is claimed by time, but... So it's possible... Because this is Chapter 1 of Simulacrum. Like, the, the game is called Simulacrum Chapter 1, right? So it's possible each of these will have a different theme for the seasons. Maybe there will be four chapters. I have no idea. So it's possible that time is the focus for this chapter and that so autumn is kind of the, the main season here. But otherwise, there's not really a reference to time with that. So cult pamphlet. I don't think there's anything here with time. Let me double check. 
don't count this. Religions of ancient times, obviously, don't count that. Why have you lost very good between religions? Yeah, she's talking about religion in the power cults in the past and and rituals they performed. Interview with Ashiato. I was not paying attention to time previously when I read these. Let's make sure there's no reference to them. Discovery correlates apparition, apparitions. So everything material and immaterial has the possibility of impressing on existence. And just like a footstep can make it, uh, you know, can leave behind a mark. So different areas own varying tangibility factors. And so sometimes in those places we can leave an imprint behind. And so the footprint of our souls, there's a shadowy echo left behind. Right? Wouldn't advise following them in such cases. They might even possess some corporeal ability. Yeah. So this, again, it's it's interesting. And it does relate to stuff we've read, we've experienced in the game and what we may run into, but it doesn't have to do with time. Bridge to Erewhon, we already used that. That was the riddle for those seeds that we planted in the first place. Which I believe, if you don't remember that, I believe that's in the second shorter video that I uploaded from when I streamed on Halloween. Riding by the cat, and then circle of time. Yeah, so we don't have enough stuff telling, as far as I can tell, we do not have enough stuff to tell us what to do for time stuff. Yeah, so here's the, what I was talking about, where we cannot go across unless we turn a flashlight off, and now we can go across. I don't expect there's anything new over here, but just in case there's anything more here. Probably not, though, right? Yeah, nothing else inside here. That's what I thought. Okay. Flashlight on again. Um, trying to think. Oh, there is also one more clock. Yeah. There are several clocks, right? There's this one, which is on the side of the pool. There's this one over by this barrier. There's this one on top here. I don't anticipate there is, but let's go here again. See if this barrier uh, has broken somehow. I don't think it has. It's probably still there. Then we'll come over and then we'll take a look at this clock and just kind of see what is going on with that clock, if anything has changed. We haven't looked at these other two clocks yet either, though. Maybe I should while I'm here. Yeah, let's look at those other clocks first while I'm here. since they're open now. What is this clock doing now? Right, so I can rotate it, but I don't know how I want to rotate it. So this is this is moving it clockwise, this is moving it counterclockwise. That's good, actually. That's kind of cool that they have. That's how you do it. Um, let's just leave for now, because I don't know where I want to turn it. So I assume it's the same with the Zodiac one, but let's take a look anyway. Yeah, this is the manual on Zodiac signs here. But again, I don't know what Zodiac sign I would want. So this one shows 11, basically the equivalent of 11 o'clock, whereas the previous one showed the equivalent of 12 o'clock. I don't know what that means. Like, why is that significant? I really don't know why that would be important. Oh, I also did not check down here since. Did anything change down here in the crema crematorium? I don't remember that being open. Was that open before? Let's save here just in case. Oh, yeah, it was. Because we got one of our seeds right here off this paper. 
And this is the thing on Ritual Sacrifice. Is that which one this is? It's too dark to see anything. So either we need to clean it somehow, or prob more probably we need pow power. Yeah, I really think we just go, we'll just go there. Let's, yep. We'll take that back through again, across. This one. Oops. Over here. Yeah, the ladder came down. So this is that hall I was telling you about before, Faux Fox, we traveled through kind of creepy. At least before it wasn't dangerous. It's just kind of... You get these... See it's like kind of moving there? But it's not actually... She doesn't get hurt. At least she didn't when I went through here before. There's a big stream of blood or trail of blood left along it, which made me worried like that it was going to be dangerous or something, but no. This is still just nothing. Yeah, dustbin. But she doesn't want to take anything from there. Oh, whoops. What? There's a children's letter under the desk. Oh, did I get that before? I don't think I got that before. I've always wanted to be a mom. That is so cool. I must feel it must feel very nice to get impregnated. Impregnated. <laughs> How do you say that? Impregnated. <laughs> I am so happy. Okay, so it's a little girl saying it. Of course, it makes sense. I've always wanted to be a mom. That is so cool. It must feel really nice, very nice to get impregnated. I am so happy I'll be a bride to our Lord and angel. I'll be a mother to a new kind of people. Oh, that poor child doesn't realize what being a bride to the angel means. I mean, I don't know fully what it means, but it can't be anything good. Angel of Darkness? Yeah, that cannot be good. Essays on some strange religion written by a child, I think. Yeah, and then there's this. So she just says, well, huh? Well, she reads it, but it says, let's see. Threw you out. Threw you out of here? Throw, but misspelled maybe? Throw you out of here? 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 And there is flesh to flesh in the middle. Interesting. Okay, anyway. Yeah, she, th there's a reason she says, huh? Because <laughs> it's, it's not exactly a lucid at all. What? Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> ah, that's messed up so well. That is, that's not right. <laughs> I'll save it over here. Now let's just do it on top of this. Because I don't think we gained, gained anything going down. Where's Spider? This freaking boy. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> <laughs>